just let's rewind to Saturday. And it was uh, Tyler Bertuzzi's birthday. He celebrates yep. with a hat trick. The Maple Leafs have won seven games in a row. The Austin Matthews story has been well, well, well documented. Um, so what does this mean for the Toronto Maple Leafs now? Like as they as they look around, I mean, it, you don't have to look too far to see the Florida Panthers, who I think we're all pretty much on the same page, the best team in the Eastern Conference. And maybe you ask yourself, okay, before we make any moves, in our mind, can we beat them in a seven-game series? Um, but you look around at the Boston Bruins and you look at what's happening in the Metropolitan Division. Like, what are the decisions here now with Brad Treliving, given that, given that all of a sudden this team has said, hey, I, I know you might have kept your powder dry this season, Brad, but we're here winning seven games in a row, five of them, without our number one defenseman. And, and you know what? People kind of rip the schedule. Uh, 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 during that five-game ah. stretch, well, you can't rip uh, Vegas even without Eichel and Stone. You cannot rip when you go into Vegas and you're up four nothing after a period. I don't care who's out of their lineup. You cannot yeah. rip that, and you cannot rip uh, the victory uh, over Colorado the other night. Um, so you know, like, look, it's it's my line about Bill Parcells. You are what your record says you are. We can look at this team and you can say, well, it looked like some holes are here. Are they really that good there? Um, it doesn't matter. It, what matters is how they're performing. And, you know, like uh, like I was one of those people earlier in the year who really felt, is this the year that you really want to take your shot with the limited amount of young assets you have? Well, now your players have basically told you you can't waste this year. And, you know, Matthews is obviously on a 70-goal pace and, and, an, and a heart trophy projection. But the other thing too is, it's it's been it's been more than the core four, as you mentioned. Riley was out of the lineup; they played very well. And I think the other thing this year is there's been a number of players, whether they struggled earlier and they're coming on now, or they found homes in Toronto. Like Benoit, to me, is like the perfect example. This is a guy who, uh, you know, Anaheim didn't qualify because they thought his contract ask was unrealistic, and now he's found a home in Toronto. You know, McCabe is a guy who hoped to play important games. If you look back through his career, he hasn't played yeah. a lot of important games. Well, now he's playing important games, and he's playing fantastic. And so, like, like, I, like I, they, they, they've basically sent a message with how they've played, you cannot waste this year. And that's the, that's the way I think Toronto's mm-hmm. going to look at it. By the way, I loved, um, uh, I loved Bertuzzi's tattoo. The picture of him with the belt, no guts, no glory. I thought that was great. It's pretty good, eh? <laughs> yeah. 